Ariel Helwani here with an all-star lineup of guests on today's show. We have Pat, H.D. Barry, Mac the Vegan, Danzig, creative interpreter Ed Soros, and liver enthusiast Bas Rutten. And thank you all for the time. Now, Pat, let's start with you. You're famous for starting bromances with fighters after your fights. Have you always been friendly with your competitors? This is the way I do it. For me, I'm so happy getting that fight over with that I go to my opponent and I hug him. I don't want to let go. <laughs> when I lost to Cop, I went to Croatia to see him. Uh, when I lost to Congo, I chilled with him in France. When I lost to Struve, we went to Amsterdam together and partied. And that's just how I do it. I love training with guys that I lose to. Uh, that's how you learn. I'm learning every day. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a work in progress. And I decided I'm not cutting my hair. I'm not eating pizza. I'm not having sex until I submit somebody in the UFC. Uh, I need to stop striking with fighters because uh, actually getting punched in the face, that's whack. It hurts. So from now on, no pizza, no sex, no haircuts, period. And Mac, thank you as well for joining us. I've always been impressed by your diet. Is it difficult as a fighter to cut all meat and dairy out of your diet? Yeah, I've been a vegan for a while now. To me, it's just a cleaner lifestyle. Once my girlfriend got me hooked on a diet of kale, oats, and lentils, I really never looked back. Ooh. That was me. That was Pat. No, it wasn't, man. That was you. I told you, I stopped eating pizza. That was probably all the vegan oats and beans and shit you, you been eating. Screw you. Guys, guys, break it up. Don't let me separate you two. I've been a bouncer for many, many years, okay? Thank you, boss. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Ed, we all know that Lyoto drinks his own urine after weigh-ins to rehydrate his body. Uh, but do you know if he ever eats his own poo? Yeah, you know, I asked him the same question and Lyoto said, No, man, I definitely drink my own pee, but eating my own excrement is where I draw the line. You know, this is the UFC. This isn't man versus wild. And finally, boss, uh, obviously the fight game has changed a lot since you won the UFC title, um, what advice would you give to someone who's going into their first MMA fight? Well, you definitely never want to underestimate your opponent, because he could come into the octagon wearing purple speedos like Dennis Hallman and get you into a mounted crucifix, teabag you in the face, and it would be over and out. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to be pinned down onto the canvas with a sweaty nutsack in your face. I've been there, okay? It's happened to me many times in Holland. If it happens to you, just tap out immediately. It's not worth the humiliation. 